The axolotl is a salamander found exclusively in the lake complex of Zocimilco, near Mexico City. They also inhabited Lake Chalco until it was drained. They are critically endangered. Even though they are commonly referred to as Mexican walking fish, they are not fish at all. Axolotls are amphibians. They are very unusual amphibians because they exhibit neoteny. They reach adulthood without undergoing metamorphosis. This is caused by a lack of thyroid-stimulating hormone. They almost never transition to living on land. They retain their gills and remain aquatic. Their three pairs of feathery gills are external and used for respiration underwater. They may also gulp air from the surface. Axolotls in the wild are typically black or brown in color, but they can also be white or pink, especially among specimens in captivity. They can grow to about 12 inches long. The male axolotl matures between 6 and 12 months of age. Females tend to mature later. Females lay eggs with gelatinous coatings that help them stick to plants, sticks, and other items. Axolotls are carnivores, feeding on prey like worms, insects, crustaceans, and small fish. In the past, they were accustomed to being a top predator in their habitat, with natural threats like predatory birds. Now they are suffering due to the introduction of large fish like carp and tilapia into their lake habitat. These fish were introduced to increase food security for impoverished communities. The fish now feed on juvenile axolotls and compete with adults for food. Demands of development in nearby Mexico City have led to the contamination of much of their lake habitat. The lake system is highly eutrophic, meaning that it is so rich in nutrients from agricultural runoff that the resulting excessive plant growth and decomposition depletes the water of oxygen. Strong storms also cause the city's sewer system to overflow and release human waste into the lake. With possibly less than 1,000 individuals, axolotls are nearly extinct in the wild. However, they are bred so widely in captivity that tens of thousands of individuals are being held in aquariums as pets or for research laboratories. They are also roasted or deep fried for consumption in some countries. After years of inbreeding, captive populations are vulnerable to disease. Because of their large cells and their ability to regenerate their limbs and many organs, axolotls are commonly distributed to labs for research. They can be induced to develop into terrestrial adult salamanders by the injection of thyroid hormones. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.